Hello beautiful people, it's the Queen of Random Content, Marcus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some cost-saving tips, just between you and I, it's a secret, hush hush, uh, on my renovation process. I hope that these tips will help you in some way, because they definitely helped me, and I re-recorded this intro because I didn't like that intro, so you're going to see a quick outfit change. Let's go. As you guys know, I just renovated my house about a year ago. If you haven't checked out my whole home renovation journey and process, it'll be linked in the description box below and at the end of the video. I highly recommend you guys check that out because it's quite a fulfilling journey to see how my house went from like nothing to something. Forgive me if I'm looking down, I've got some stuff in my notes. So you know, I, this isn't just coming up from my ass. I mean, it is, but there is some sort of structure to it. I'll be teaching you guys three tips that I think have really helped me in my home renovation journey to save some money. And I hope it'll help you guys as well. So without, I was gonna say without any further delay, but the world outside decided to be noisy. Give me a moment. Let's dive right in. Alright, so the first thing you have to consider when you want to save some money for your home renovation is what works need carpentry in your house. So carpentry work is basically when the interior designer or the contractor, they have to kind of build and install like shelving and stuff in your house, such as this wardrobe or the TV console area as you've seen or the kitchen cabinet. And the thing is, these are not cheap. I wanted them to fabricate something in my hall, and that would have been about two to three thousand dollars already. There are certain carpentry works that absolutely have to be done. Like they're expensive, but they, it'll be worth the money. So the ones that you absolutely have to do are the kitchen cabinets. In the long run, it's definitely gonna help if you spend that money to do customized kitchen cabinets that really go with the workflow of the way you cook and prepare your meals. It's just gonna be easier to get it all done in one customized compared to if you got like bits and pieces from everywhere and then had to do it all yourself. So the next thing is your wardrobe. This one I'm kind of like 70% must do, 30% you don't really have to. Depends on your aesthetic but if you get it store-bought you won't get it like floor to ceiling and you're gonna have some gaps at the top which you're gonna have to dust and do you really want to be cleaning the top of your cupboard every now and then? No, exactly. So that's why to me I feel that uh, doing the wardrobe is worth spending the money Plus, you can really customize it the way you want. Um, a very close second would be the, the IKEA PAX wardrobe system, where you do get to customize it as well. Um, but the thing is, um, you're going to have a bit of a gap at the top because the maximum height of it is a certain height and your HDB ceilings would go all the way up to another height. So there's a little gap that's going to collect dust. Another thing is the IKEA PAX wardrobe system, it actually is quite expensive because you're not factoring in delivery and installation costs. I mean, if you're a handy person and you could do the wardrobe system yourself, go off sis. Personally, I'm not good with tools and I would rather get this done properly instead of having like a broken cupboard like a month later after I moved in. So this is actually about $1,985. I, I found a person on Carousel who does a wardrobe carpentry. So this is separate from my interior designer who's going to charge me $3,000. If you feel like your interior designer is um, charging you a lot more for certain things, you can outsource uh, carpentry. Um, you can get a wardrobe done for quite cheap, just gotta reach out to a few people and get the best quotation for it. But I just highly recommend you getting this done professionally. If you if you want to do a customized IKEA one, it comes up to about the same price. But also if you are on a budget, um, you could always just buy a ready-made wardrobe. Uh, they go for like two to four hundred dollars. You can get stuff these furniture stores. I will list um, some of my favorite furniture stores in the description box below. So that's there as well in case you guys are looking for any furnishings. Okay, so the ones that I think you don't have to do is the TV console because what if you change your TV? Then all that carpentry you're doing, it's gonna be wasted. And once again, carpentry is not cheap. We're gonna go into the thousands when I got my TV console for like a few hundred dollars. And you can find even cheaper TV consoles if you're really budget. And I wanted to do something for my pantry, but instead of getting something floor to ceiling, which is customized, 
which would be great if you had the money but that would be about two thousand dollars i got my pantry area for about four hundred dollars and that was customized as well i just had to wait like six weeks for it but save money that's what this video is about the next thing i think you don't have to spend money on your carpentry is your study table a lot of people they do like um they'll do the wardrobe plus the study table in my personal opinion like carpentry just costs so much money and you could I'd rather you spend the money on getting a good study table that really suits your taste the, with the adjustable height ones I think those would be more worth your money the next thing is the bed frame your ID might also ask you to do carpentry for your bed frame honestly in case you want to change your mattress or change your room layout you could always just buy a bed frame it, it would cost way less than doing carpentry for that. And next thing is your toilet vanity. This one, while I do think um, it would be good if you had the money because my toilet vanity now it's lacking a lot of like storage and like shelving area which I wish I had. But you can literally find like the shelving units and stuff on like Lazada and Shopee, um, even Taobao. I, I can't read Mandarin so I can't use Taobao to show you guys but there are a lot of YouTube videos out there. and. Getting a toilet vanity that is already done and put in your space, it's honestly not that bad. Like I've had my toilet vanity that I just got from the toilet accessory store. It was already made and we just installed it. It wasn't customized or anything. You save so much money and honestly, it's not bad. It does the job. You can always buy little inserts to customize it. And it's how you save money on carpentry. In this section, let's summarize. I know I talked, I think are worth doing for carpentry, your kitchen cabinet and wardrobe. Things I think are not worth doing for carpentry, TV console, study table, bed frame, toilet vanity, and the wall storage in the hall. Those things you can get from elsewhere, save money and don't do carpentry. This is another thing where I really saved a lot of money for because I saw the bill and I was very shocked. This is your bathroom and kitchen accessories. This is the part where a lot of people I think overlook. I don't know about your process but for my process it was we just had to pick everything for a house from this one store and then we're done. So for a lot of people out there with jobs and stuff I know you're very busy and to buy everything from one place in one shot is convenient. While convenient I do recommend you take a good look at that receipt because that's what I did and I realized wait I'm gonna role play for you guys okay. At the moment you're overwhelmed. You see all these lights because they're literally like a thousand types of light fixtures in the store and then you see all these options and you're just like okay I think this looks nice uh, and you just pick it one thing is just like maybe 70 to 80 dollars you don't really think too much about it you think okay that's an okay price for like a sink right but the thing is it all adds up because you're getting bathroom accessories for your entire house and if you have more than one bathroom so it's easy to rack up a bill and i recommend really going through each and every item to see what you can save money on so after you go through your first look um, you tell them what you want and then you highlight things that you think are a bit too pricey for one item and see cheap alternatives on the next viewing. I thought, okay, we don't need a rain shower and we don't need this finish. Is there a cheaper finish? For example, if a silver finish versus a gunmetal finish, if a silver finish was way cheaper, let's just do silver because we're on a budget. The thing you should save money on is honestly the toilet bowl. They will try to sell you the most expensive toilet bowl there is and they'll be like, oh, this is like a full, full flush, flush system, system and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this is the heck. You just get an affordably priced toilet bowl and you get a more premium toilet seat. So when your bum sits on the toilet bowl, it feels premium, but it's basically a basic toilet bowl. And they're like, if there's any, you know, things stuck, just get your head and get a brush and scrub it out. And you can get a toilet bowl for literally half the price that they're trying to sell you. I mean, it depends on the type of like sales guy you get, but I mean, I think some of them are working on commission and they're gonna try to sell you the most expensive thing. Yeah, so one of the things that was very expensive in my list was the kitchen sink. So we did a Google search and we found a company called Bacera that actually does fire clay sinks for a fraction of the price. The store was gonna charge me $650, but online it was about $350 and shipping was like 10 bucks. So we were like, okay, let's do it. Oh, also the mirror in the toilet, I got online for like $30 via C shipping. So even though it took like five weeks to get here, most of the mirrors at like Ikea and at the bath store, I'm just gonna call it a bath store. They sell it for like hundreds of, like $100 Ish. Moral of the story is, 
if there is something way too expensive in your bathroom and like, kitchen accessories bill, look for cheaper options at the store. And if you don't have cheaper options at the store, look elsewhere, just buy it and then give it to your ID to install it for you. Because that's what we did for the kitchen sink and it looks fantastic. And we literally saved $300. Uh, onto my last money saving tip for your renovation, this is a very good segue. Um, it's actually look for alternatives and go secondhand when you can. So alternatives would be online, for example, my fire clay sink, it's too expensive, we got an alternative online. My bathroom mirror, we just got online because it was $30. Try to go secondhand, you can go on Facebook Marketplace or Carousel. I know I sound like Carousel is sponsoring me, but trust me, they're not. Um, but if they'd like to, my DMs are always open. But Carousel has uh, a lot of people who are maybe like moving house or they, they think that their stuff is a little too old and they're trying to sell it. You can get secondhand things on Carousel for cheap and um, you might never know, they might fit your aesthetic. So that's one way to save money. So people might always associate Carousel with secondhand goods, but that's not always true because on Carousel, they actually have a lot of these accounts that are like factory warehouses where they basically don't have like a physical store but they have a lot of listings and they're all brand spanking new and they're so cheap. I'm gonna share with you guys my dining table I got from Carousel. It's in one of my like shopping vlogs but I got to choose the wood, the length and the legs and everything and it was about 600 and something dollars. Dining tables are so expensive if you want a good one. They're literally in the thousands. And not to mention one chair is like a hundred dollars. I got my chair for like $69.90 each. And they're good quality, like they're not broken. I'm still living with them and it's been a year. So I highly recommend Carousel. Don't sleep on Carousel. Carousel is amazing if you want secondhand stuff and also brand new customized ones. You just gotta really sit there and search and know what your aesthetic is. So when you go there, you know what you're looking for and you know whether you're getting a good deal. Cause you're comparing that warehouse price to maybe stuff like your ID quoting you for the dining table or uh, IKEA. Oh, also check out the IKEA as is section because you'll find some great stuff. I got my nightstand on Carousel as is. I got it for $99 when it was $176. So just always keep a lookout for alternatives. And before this video ends, I totally forgot this last tip. So basically, I'm gonna put the full name and link about these are vouchers from the government. It's all about being responsible for climate change and helping reduce our effects on the planet. And the government gives out vouchers to new households. These are vouchers for your fridge, your lighting, and your bathroom fixtures. I can't remember the price breakdown, but I was literally at like a best thank you. And this lady was like, you should register to get your uh, vouchers for your fridge. And you basically get like $150 off your fridge. And you also get like $50 off like your light bulbs and stuff. So I recommend you guys to check that out as well. I mean, some of you might be like, it's just $50. But I mean, $50 is better than nothing, right? And that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this informative. Um, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys have any other cost saving tips or any uh, feedback on some of the tips I shared, please do leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let's have a conversation. Let's help people get the best value for money for their home renovation and to get a result that they're ultimately happy with in the end. So with that, I will see you in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!